Let's take a look at the 3516C diesel genset enclosure for 2 MW at the 60 Hz standby rating. This enclosure is a walk-in design which provides ample space for operators and service personnel. And of course, being designed by Caterpillar engineers assures top performance backed by a full Caterpillar warranty. The enclosure is UL2200 listed, with optional IBC and CSA certification. Painted galvanil used in the construction of the enclosure provides excellent corrosion resistance and durability, with 120 miles per hour wind loading. Here we have a close-up of the sound attenuation box, which sits on top of the roof, directly above the cooling air outlet. Removing the sound attenuation box enables us to see the cooling air outlet, where we have electrically driven fans, incorporating gravity-controlled louvers. The use of gravity-controlled louvers provides protection from the elements as the louvers only open when the generator set is running. The cooling system includes a jacket water radiator and air-to-air -air after cooler mounted horizontally in a separate compartment within the enclosure. Here you can see clearly how the cooling system is arranged inside the enclosure, with all the pipework pre-installed, making it ready to run. As we move back up toward the roof, you can see the electric motors driving the cooling fans. As mentioned, gravity control of the louvers means they automatically close when the generator set is switched off, thus protecting the cooling system compartment from the elements. Some of the features of these enclosures include a cold weather option which incorporates motorized intake louvres and a 5 kilowatt electric heater. An integral UL142 fuel tank base provides up to 24 hours of runtime. Alternatively, a skid base option, with no fuel tank, allows for use with a standalone fuel tank which reduces the overall height of the enclosure if that is a site requirement. For transportation, the exhaust stack and sound attenuation box are removed making the overall shipping height 12 feet 8 inches with a tank base or 11 feet 8 inches with a skid base. It is a compact design with class-leading footprint, making the road freight and installation very cost-effective. Being a factory design, the skid base and fuel tank base enclosure designs are the same length and width. The overall length is 45 and a half feet, and the overall width is 8 feet 9 inches. Adding the sound attenuation box brings the installed heights to 16 feet 5 inches for the enclosure, fitted with a tank base and 15 feet 5 inches for the enclosure with a skid base. The enclosure was designed with servicing considerations in mind, with the following features. An exterior coolant fill, which provides quick access. On the right side we see double wide maintenance doors which provide easy access to fuel filters, the air filters, oil fill and oil dipstick, as well as the oil filter. And external drainage points for both oil and coolant, which are readily accessible for easy routine maintenance. Moving to the left side of the enclosure, we have access to the control panel, breaker, and shore power connections. A large door to the engine compartment provides easy access to the starting batteries. As we move to the front of the enclosure, we can see an easily readable fuel sight gauge, which is next to our access to the fuel fill. The fuel tank includes a low-level alarm, explosion relief valves, and a 7.5 gallon spill containment for the fuel fill. Moving on to some additional safety features. 
there are external emergency stops on both sides of the enclosure should the need arise for quick access. In the event of a leak of any kind, the floor of the enclosure has been designed with the capacity to contain all the engine fluids. Inside the enclosure, we find another emergency stop, adjacent to the control panel. A safe working space exceeds the NEC working requirements, making it easy to access controls, shore power connections and breakers. Hot surfaces are thermally insulated, including the exhaust pipework, with a muffler mounted inside the enclosure, which reduces the risk of accidental contact. All rotating parts are guarded, including the alternator and roof fans which provide further protection for anyone in proximity to the enclosure. Looking at the performance of the enclosure at 2 megawatts we find. Level 1 sound attenuation, with no sound box fitted, is designed for 79 dBA at 23 feet or 7 meters with ambient capability of 113 degrees Fahrenheit or 45 degrees Celsius to ensure full power is available, even on peak days. Level 2 sound attenuation, with the sound box fitted is a class leading 74 dBA at 23 feet or 7 meters with the same ambient capability of 113 degrees Fahrenheit or 45 degrees Celsius. In summary, the CAT 3516C enclosure delivers excellent value in durability, features, geometry, serviceability, safety, and performance.